Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited because I asked you recently in a poll on YouTube and on Instagram if you would like to see how to grow long nails or summer hairstyles. And so this video is for you. So I'm excited to share some summer hairstyles that I've been wearing lately. They are vintage inspired, romantic inspired, whatever you wanna call them. I'm gonna go through a few different hairstyles and show you a few accessories that I've been using lately for summer. Most of these hairstyles are very simple, easy to do. You can put them together really quickly, but it looks like you took a long time with just a few tips that I'm going to share. So I'll be sharing some tips with you on how to create some pretty hairstyles for summer that make you feel beautiful and elegant, but don't take a lot of time. One of these hairstyles is actually requested from one of you on my Instagram. It was a hairstyle I wore in an Instagram story I did in February, I think it was for Valentine's Day. And it was a really fun little story highlight. That I was uh, making a, actually brownies, I think for my husband, but I had my hair in a certain way. Some of you asked me if I could show you a tutorial on how I did my hair like that. And to tell you the truth, that hairstyle was inspired by a television series that we had checked out from the library. It takes place in the Victorian era, but I will talk more about that later as we get to that hairstyle. So I'm gonna take you back in time and we are gonna start with my hair fresh. The rest of the video will be a voiceover because I think it would be better just to walk you through the steps and enjoy. And then I will meet with you again at the end of the video. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to start by brushing my hair out. Now my hair is not curled yet and these styles I'm going to do are for straight hair or semi wavy hair. This vintage 1960s style that I'm going to show you first is a style that I've been wearing in my past few vintage videos. So I thought I'd show you. I'm gonna begin with adding volume in the crown and give it a little tease or back comb. I'm gonna work every single area around my crown and don't get uh, scared because <laughs> I'm gonna have some really big hair in a little bit. Okay, so after I do that, <laughs> I'm going to use bobby pins from Bunheads. These are amazing. My daughter uses them for her ballet buns, and so they hold my hair really well. I'm going to start with parting the hair, and I'm going to create a fake side swept bang. Because in the 1960s, the women wore those really cute bangs, and I don't have any, so I'm going to create a fake one. I'm going to pin an area right above my ear and hold those in place and then I'm going to take the excess of my hair and smooth it down over that ear so that you don't see the pin. See I'm hiding that right there and then I'm going to tie a vintage lace and use that as a headband and the secret with this style is you want to have smooth sleek hair that is well groomed. So I'm going to use this no haircut cream. It's like a leave-in conditioner, but it really helps smooth my hair and eliminate frizzes. So I need that in this hairstyle. Lately I've been using small square scarves for headbands and so in my past vintage homemaking videos I've done my hair like this and it's exactly the same way I just did with the lace but this way I'm using the scarf as a bow and I just put that on the top, looks really cute. Again I'm going to smooth and use the brush to smooth the areas and I finish off with a little bit of hairspray. Okay, so moving on to the next hairstyle. It's the vintage sleek low ponytail. And now that the hair is kind of volumized by teasing already, um, I'm going to work with my hair. I'm going to smooth it out with the brush on the top, all around on the sides. And then I'm going to put it into a ponytail using a hair tie. You can use whatever hair tie you want. And then with this hairstyle, I'm going to use this scarf again, and I'm just going to drape it down to give it that pretty 1950s look, but instead of a high pony, it is a low pony. And then here, I'm showing you how I use a headband with a bow, and to add that cute little smooth pony look. 
And then here I also have ribbons with floral patterns on them and those are really cute because these are short so when they go on they kind of look like a headband. Okay, now moving on to my favorite part, the Victorian inspired hairstyles. For these styles I'm going to curl my hair and I'm not going to do that all for you in this video but if you'd like to see another video of me doing that let me know. The hair is curled now and I still have that volume but I think I need more. So we're going to tease and back comb again. For these styles, we are going to do updos, so we will need a lot of volume in the crown. Isn't this fun? Now, I don't really like to tease my hair that much or back comb, but I just do a little bit, as you can see, just a little bit to get that volume up there. I'm going to smooth it out by brushing it out and then I'm ready to style. So I'm going to start with the Romantic Vintage Ponytail. I'm going to grab one side and I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to pin it in the middle of my head, sort of like at ear level. And then I'm going to get the other side. Now I have a side part, but you could do this any way you want. And I'm going to twist that side too. And then I'm going to kind of place it in an area that the puffiness on the top kind of looks the same as the other side. So you kind of have to work with it. And then I'm going to spray it so it's finished up on the top. And then I have little hairs hanging, but that's okay. And then we're going to use a hair tie. So I'm going to make a pony for this hairstyle because it's the pony. And so you get that pretty lift on the top, kind of that vintage look, but then it also is a pony with curls and it has a feel of a refreshing, pulled back hairstyle that keeps me cool during summer. Now I'm going to take that same vintage lace and I'm going to tie a bow around my pony and hide the hair tie and let it just drape. So I'm showing you the option. You can use ribbons and you can use scarves too. Now on to my favorite, the Romantic Victorian Updo. After doing the hairstyle we just did, we are halfway there. So what I'm going to do is take the lower hair and half it and then I'm going to tease a little bit of that or back comb just for a little bit of volume around the nape of the neck. And then I'm going to create a French twist and kind of slowly do it because I want it to be proportioned all the way going up. And if you have long hair like me, then you need to do that. But if you don't, then that's okay. And then I'm going to take my pins. Now these are bunhead hair pins. These are different from the ones you would see in the store. And they definitely are so much better, especially for updos and if you have thick hair like mine. The other ones just don't cut it. So I'm going to directly add this pin in different sections on the top and all around the side. And if you have any straggly hairs like I'm showing you, just spray them. That's what I do. And like I said before, this hairstyle was requested by Amanda McKevitt, who writes on Instagram that this hairstyle is elegant and practical and it would be a great way to wear her hair up in the summer in hot temps which I can totally relate to because I am in Arizona and so thank you Amanda for your request and as I said earlier my hairstyle is inspired by a television series called The Paradise it's by the BBC it came out in 2014 the beautiful hairstyles in that series is what inspired me to create this one Alright, moving on to the 40s. So this is my hair up in the same style I was wearing, but I'm going to show you how I put a scarf on the top and make it look like a Rosie the Riveter look. So you can also hide the bow if you want, and it makes a really cute go-to hairstyle. Now moving on to the Romantic Curls Ponytail. 
So these hairstyles are inspired by the Regency period because they always had pretty curls hanging down in their uh, side areas and so I'm going to do one curl on one side for this hairstyle. I'm also using the leave-in conditioner cream that I talked about earlier to be able to smooth the sides and smooth the bang area which is the curl. This helps the curl create that bouncy look and smooth and shiny and it also helps the curl stay uh, in a ringlet form and then also I'm going to smooth the sides by brushing them out and I'm going to just make sure that's nice and smooth and then I'm going to take a hair tie and then I'm going to put it in a pony now when my daughter and I watched Sanditon uh, from the PBS masterpiece this past winter we were so inspired and wanted to read all of Jane Austen's books and watch her movies but it's just that period of romance and beauty that inspires this hairstyle for me. And so you can wear this curl, one curl, two curls, however you want, but I really like the one curl. So after I put it in the pony, I spray it, and then I'm going to add a vintage lace, the same one I've been using. And then also, if you have scrunchies, this is a great way to use your scrunchies. So I'm gonna take a pink lace scrunchie and use that. It looks great as a casual pony, but it adds a little bit more femininity to it and a little more elegance. And then add the vintage sun hat and you have a beautiful style. So thank you for joining me today for this video. I hope you were inspired by my summer hairstyles. If any of them inspired you, please let me know. You can comment below on this video if my comments are enabled. And if not, you can find me on my community post here. I will link that below and any products or anything that I did use in this video if I can. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and more. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.